So this is going to be an install video for the FX Impact swapping out the OEM part for the LTEC. Uh, this is the rifle all put together. Got basically your OEM plates on the back. And in order to get to all of this, we're going to have to take off the complete top rail, the cheek rest and the backbone, whatever you want to call this. Uh, so let's get started. So you're no longer going to need this part. Um, you could just kind of set it off to the side. You're also no longer going to need these side plates. And you do not need your old probe carrier, but you will have to save the little pin and the screw that connects it. Okay, so if you want, you can measure basically from the back of your block here to the tip of the where this little square starts if you want to document uh, your original setting uh, so you can just take a pair of calibers or some other measuring device um, currently mine is set at 209 millimeters 0.84 so basically 210 millimeters step one of Installing the LTEC is going to be basically just screwing on two screws here. Uh, when you get your LTEC, it's going to come with the side plate on loosely. Um, I would recommend taking it off and basically working with half of it on like this. Uh, so take the two screws that were on one of the side plates and go ahead and bolt that on at this point. Now in order to make sure that this is nice and evenly square with where the backbone is going to be, I do recommend putting this back on just for a second. Screwing in couple here and then go ahead and screw down these two before you tighten up the two on the side this will ensure that when you tighten it down onto this bracket here it's it's all squared up and then you can take off the, the backbone and continue working Okay, so this isn't very tricky, but the only thing that you're going to really have to do in order to dial in the LTEC is extending this out backwards a little bit. Uh, and this makes room for all the stuff that's going on inside the new probe carrier and uh, allows it to retract and all that good stuff. For lining up the probe, it's going to be a little bit different than how you did it with your OEM or any of the other probe carriers that are on the market, pin probes, all of that stuff where you would have to kind of adjust the seat depth in order for it to give its maximum uh, seating or to line it up where you want. Um, with how this works, it's going to automatically line up with the back of the magwell all the time. It just comes like that out of the box. What you're adjusting this back to engage with is the sear that catches the probe and then making sure that the stroke allows the probe carrier to come forward to this uh, face and then it will cause it to snap back. Uh, so the stroke is essentially, you know, just trying to make it smooth going forwards and backwards here. And again, just enough to make it engage with the sear to pull the probe forward and then engage with the front plate in order to make it snap back. So again, you're not adjusting for seat depth, 
you're adjusting in order to get this probe to engage and disengage with the sear. Uh, so, in the forward position, essentially you need to have the hole here line up with the hole on the probe carrier. So you can kind of push it forward with your finger here and just kind of see how far back you have to go. Um, it's only going to be a few turns. One, let's do two turns back. And two turns is about where it should be. Okay, I'm about two turns back and I'm just going to test it. Uh, so at this point, you can put the locating pin in there. And that's going to be the, the further one back. And you can kind of test and see what's going to go on here. Okay, so it caught it. And it's going forward. So at this point, I'm going to put the screw on. And the only time that you're going to really be able to see, you know, how it's actually going is when you put back on the backbone. And that's because the only thing that's basically holding it onto the rifle is this bracket here. And that's relatively flimsy. And the system requires that the back essentially be rigid. And the only time that happens is when this is back on there. So you don't have to fully install the whole thing. You can just do a couple screws. I like to do maybe two back here. And just one up here. Now I'm just gonna cycle it. Okay. So it doesn't wanna work right now and it's a little bit heavy in the front. So that means that we need to push the carrier back a little bit and that's what's causing this to be a little bit heavy uh, so let's take this off in order to do the fine micro adjustment in order for this to nicely seat and nothing be too too rough um, you're not going to want to do another full 360 on this um, I believe each revolution it's probably going back about 0.7 millimeters, give or take. Um, so what you're going to have to do is do about a quarter turn on this side. And it's going to make this turn a little bit, kind of like this. And then once you go back, it's just going to come out, you know, like 0.2 millimeter or so backwards. Okay, and then in order to move this back, you're going to want to take a pair of uh, vice grips and clamp it on down here or anywhere really. Uh, you can also chuck this up in like a, a lathe or something like that if you have one. Um, the surface finish of this is not a huge issue and it's also covered by the backbone. So if you scratch it or gall it a little bit, uh, it's not really a huge, uh, it's not gonna be a big problem. Uh, so just pick this up and do a little bit of a turn there and then push this back down and now we're going to try it again and again you can just uh, Tighten down a couple of these. Gonna go backwards, engages, and there it goes. It's nice and smooth. Okay, now you can test it a little bit. And it's doing good. You also might want to make sure that it grabs the uh, 
hammer spring on this. Looks like it's working pretty good. We can now tighten everything down. Now you can put on the side plate. And the key to the side plate, like I was saying for the first plate, is do the top screws first. Uh, this will ensure that, again, when you cinch down the screws on the side, that this surface here is nicely mated to the backbone. And there it is. This is now completely installed and ready to use.